3i Atlas is visible again. After disappearing behind the sun for weeks, the most anomalous interstellar object ever detected has emerged from perihelion, and it's glowing bluer than our star. Not reflecting sunlight, emitting light as if powered by something hotter than the sun's 5,800 Kelvin photosphere. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb just classified this as the tenth impossible property of an object that statistically shouldn't exist. It uh, follows a path that is aligned with the ecliptic plane of the planets around the Sun, and it had additional anomalies, altogether ten of them. You're about to discover why this single color measurement suggests technology we've never encountered. Ten statistical impossibilities are converging at once, culminating in a brightness signature that rewrites the rules of physics. December 19th marks the moment of truth. Most assume comets glow by reflecting starlight. But what happens when an object's color temperature exceeds the very star it's orbiting? Pay attention to the cascade of contradictions you're about to hear. Each one narrows the explanation to something extraordinary. This morning we have a report that the object got much brighter than expected and moreover, the color of the object is blue bluer than the sun and that's very surprising because usually when there is dust around an object it should make it red october 29th 2025 3i atlas reached perihelion its closest point to the sun just 54 million kilometers out at that distance 770 watts per square meter of solar radiation hammered its surface natural comets fragment under this thermal assault 3i atlas didn't but here's the catch. Earth-based telescopes saw nothing. The object passed directly behind the sun, invisible from our vantage, concealed since October 21st during solar conjunction. And it came closest to the sun yesterday. Unfortunately, we can't look at it from Earth because the Earth is on the opposite side of the sun. That could have also been a hint of a technological design. Fortunately, Three space observatories occupied positions where the sun didn't block their view. Stereo A, orbiting slightly ahead of Earth, captured data with its COR2 coronagraph. SOHO, stationed at the gravitational balance point between Earth and Sun, monitored continuously with LASCO instruments. GOES-19, a brand new meteorological satellite launched in 2024, resolved fine details with its CCOR1 coronagraph from geostationary orbit. These three perspectives documented something no ground telescope could witness. In 20 seconds, you'll learn why Harvard's top astrophysicist thinks this defies every stellar physics model we trust. The September and October data streams revealed a brightness surge unlike any Oort cloud comet ever observed. The sun is 5,800 degrees Kelvin above absolute zero, and it's very difficult to keep a surface hotter than that. In fact, an object at the distance of 3i Atlas from the sun could only be 20 times cooler than the sun, so it should be redder. CCOR1 detected luminosity, extending 300,000 kilometers around the object, nearly the distance from Earth to the moon. Imagine a glowing sphere the size of the entire Earth-Moon system. The carbon dioxide plume detected in August matched this scale. Yet the mechanism driving such energy release remains, as the peer-reviewed study admits, obscure. Comets brighten as they near the sun, sure, but this rate of increase? No natural precedent exists. Then came the color measurement that changed everything. LASCO and CCOR1 coronagraphs both registered 3i Atlas, appearing distinctly bluer than the sun itself. Loeb's analysis is blunt, this is extremely surprising. Dust particles scatter solar light toward the red end of the spectrum. Surfaces colder than 5,800 Kelvin emit redder wavelengths. Previous observations showed 3i Atlas with reddish coloration. Now, at perihelion, it's shifted blue. Buried in the coronagraph data is a detail that orthodox comet science cannot accommodate. Blue light means higher temperature. The blue shift forces a question lobe poses without hedging. Does 3i Atlas employ an energy source hotter than our star? If there's more energy going out than in, it means that there's energy boost coming from whipping around the sun, and that requires intelligence. If dust and reflected sunlight can't explain the color, internal power generation must. But natural objects don't carry fuel that burns hotter than stellar photospheres. 
which means either our thermodynamics models are catastrophically wrong or we're observing technology. This tenth anomaly joins a list so improbable that each addition tightens the vice around conventional explanations. Let's walk through what shouldn't exist but does. The 3 I atlas arrived along a trajectory aligned within five degrees of the ecliptic, the flat plane where planets orbit. Objects ejected randomly from other star systems approach from any angle, like meteorites hitting a spinning plate from above, below, any side. The probability of ecliptic alignment by chance, two-tenths of one percent, like threading a needle in a dark room. Then, during July and August, it expelled a jet of material aimed directly toward the sun. Every comet you've studied does the opposite. Radiation pressure blows tails away from stars, like hair streaming behind a sprinter. 3i Atlas broke that law as if running forward with hair blown into its face. Most will miss this next detail, but it's the smoking gun connecting mass, velocity, and intent. It's a million times more massive than Oumuamua, a thousand times larger than Borisov, yet moves faster than comparable interstellar objects. Picture a fully loaded cargo ship outpacing speedboats. Gravitational slingshots from origin systems impart velocity inversely related to mass. Big objects move slower. 3i Atlas defies that correlation. Then there's timing. It passed near Mars, Venus, and Jupiter with precision, yet remained hidden from Earth during the most critical observation window, perihelion. A tourist visiting three landmarks while avoiding the main airport's cameras entirely. The temporal choreography has lottery-winning odds. Spectroscopic analysis revealed a nickel-to-iron ratio matching industrial alloys produced in terrestrial foundries, not the random elemental soup of primordial ice. Comets are dirty snowballs, 80 to 90 percent water ice. 3i Atlas contains 4 percent water, drier than the Atacama Desert. It's an iceberg made of metal. Light polarization measurements returned a fingerprint absent from every natural object catalog, including Borisov, the only other confirmed interstellar comet. What these three anomalies reveal together will rewrite our assumptions about object classification and origin. And it arrived from the exact celestial coordinates that produced the WOW signal in 1977, the most credible candidate for extraterrestrial radio transmission ever detected. 48 years separate the events. Same cosmic address. Directional precision like two arrows fired decades apart, hitting the same bullseye. Now, the blue shift perihelion data crowns the list as anomaly number 10. Loeb's interpretation is cautious but clear. The appearance of 3i Atlas, bluer than the sun, is very surprising. If its surface were simply heated by solar radiation, it would glow redder, not bluer. The temperature gradient is inverted. Therefore, an internal mechanism must be generating photons at higher energy than the surrounding radiation field. Scientists debated releasing this probability analysis. Here's what they almost kept quiet. Multiply the individual odds of each anomaly. Ecliptic alignment, 0.2%. Sunward jet, under 1%. Mass velocity paradox, low single digits. Timing precision, fractions of a percent. Factory grade composition, negligible. Polarization uniqueness, unquantified but extreme. Directional wow correlation, astronomically slim. Dryness for a comet, contradictory to definition. Blue stellar temperature glow, thermodynamically forbidden for passive objects. Combined probability, less than one in 10 quadrillion. Stop. This calculation contradicts every dismissive explanation you've heard from mainstream outlets. One in 10 quadrillion is worse odds than winning 15 consecutive lotteries. It's more likely you'll be struck by lightning twice in one year while holding a royal flush you didn't deal. When probability collapses to this degree, Occam's razor reverses. The simplest explanation becomes the one we've avoided. If Avi Loeb is correct, 3i Atlas possesses technology capable of generating sustained energy at temperatures exceeding our sun's photosphere. That implies mastery over fusion, antimatter, or physics we haven't discovered. Civilizations commanding such power wouldn't arrive by accident or drift aimlessly. Every anomaly, trajectory, timing, composition, thermal signature, points toward intent. Audio observatories worldwide are in continuous monitoring mode, 
Congress members are facilitating release of classified, high-resolution images from October 2nd to scientific teams. Researchers are scanning for deliberate course corrections, deployment of secondary probes, radio transmissions, artificial light modulation, or excess infrared signatures from propulsion. The sensors are live. The data streams are open. The next 30 seconds explain why December 19th carries historical weight no other date this decade does. 3. I. Atlas is emerging from behind the sun. Twilight observations from ground telescopes resume within days. On December 19th, 2025, it makes closest approach to Earth. The Hubble Space Telescope, James Webb Space Telescope, and dozens of ground arrays will train on a single target. If the object maneuvers, emits non-random signals, or exhibits geometry inconsistent with natural fragmentation, will document the first definitive proof of alien engineering. Alternatively, if natural processes explain these 10 anomalies, physics textbooks rewrite entire chapters. Either outcome revolutionizes human knowledge, but the convergence is undeniable. We're not studying ancient artifacts or decoding distant radio whispers. We're observing, in real time, an object whose properties statistically require technology, glowing with energy that surpasses our star. Right now, as you watch this, spacecraft instruments are repositioning. Observation windows are locked. Avi Loeb and teams across six continents are parsing photon counts and spectral lines. 50 days separate us from the December flyby. 50 days to answer whether we've been alone. History isn't archived footage. It's streaming live, wavelength by wavelength, through coronagraphs and radio dishes pointed at an impossible visitor. Whether 3i, Atlas, is the strangest comet ever born, or a machine powered by physics beyond our sun, one fact is inescapable. Nothing natural should be glowing blue at perihelion. Yet something is, and we're about to find out what technology beyond our sun looks like when it comes within reach of our best instruments. 50 days to answer whether we've been alone. History isn't archived footage. It's streaming live, wavelength by wavelength, through coronagraphs and radio dishes pointed at an impossible visitor. Whether 3i, Atlas, is the strangest comet ever born, or a machine powered by physics beyond our sun, one fact is inescapable. Nothing natural should be glowing blue at perihelion. Yet something is, and we're about to find out what technology beyond our sun looks like when it comes within reach of our best instruments.